Hey everyone, this is Nathan Skinner here at Fish North Georgia. I'm sitting with Danny Pruitt, the owner of Fish North Georgia, mm -hmm. and we're starting something new. We're calling it the Fish North Georgia A List, where we talk about non-fishing related products that we've we've been enjoying. Uh, we're reviewing. We're just checking out. So if you guys have any suggestions for future videos like this, let us know in the comments. Today we're doing a whiskey tasting. We're checking out Suntory Whiskey Toki. Danny, that's right. So yeah, like I love whiskey. I'm not very familiar with Japanese whiskey, stuff like that. So I'm looking forward to this. Uh, why'd you pick this one? Sure. So I was at the store today. I just saw this on an end cap and I was thinking we wanted to start this uh, start this video series. The Japanese make fantastic bass fishing lures, as we all know. So That's why right. not make a great segue there into the world of whiskey with a Japanese mm -hmm. whiskey? Yeah. So uh, you know anything about Suntory whiskey or, or just Japanese whiskey in general? Yeah. So Suntory is one of the main brands of Japanese whiskeys. Okay. Um, they're also one of the oldest Japanese distilleries. Um, I think they started around like the 1870s. Right. Um, and their distillery executive back then, his name was... This is on you. Masataka Takasuru. Very good um, job. He studied uh, distillery um, and whiskey making in Scotland in the 1920s. And so he brought back to Japan a lot of the elements of Scotch whiskey, um, which is pretty cool because I don't think most people realize that Japan and Scotland are actually on a similar latitude. And so they have a lot of very similar terrain um, and climate and environments. And so I think the whiskeys come out pretty similar, not just from a traditional how they craft their whiskeys, but also, you know, where their ingredients come from. Okay. And what do you think I can expect from this? Because again, yeah. no experience with Japanese whiskey. Sure. So because the Toki line is a blended whiskey, I think it's going to be a little bit smoother. Um, it's going to have I think um, probably like a fruitier flavor. Um, mm -hmm. The Toki, I've had Toki before. It reminds me of like a Highland Scotch. So, you know, right. that's like the fruitier side of Scotch. Um, to me, it's just a really good sippable blended whiskey. Okay. Yeah. All right. Well, let's break into this thing. Let's break into it. <laughs> Let you pour some like that. And again, I'm I'm a I'm a Southern boy, uh, used to our Jack Daniels and other stuff like that. So I'm looking forward to this one here. Taste for you. So our highbrow plastic glasses here that we're using this it's a uh, fairly uh clearer in color it's yeah. not very dark thank you iga that's right thank you iga for the for the glasses and uh i'll let you go ahead and uh smell and taste and do whatever sure you want to do with it so to me just you know off the first sniffs you get a little bit of an herbal quality and vanilla to it mm -hmm. um that's why i get off the first off the first sniff it runs really good like i mean when you Swirl it and run it up the glass. I'm gonna, I'm gonna swirl it like I know yeah. what I'm doing. Obviously, yeah. that would be better in a glass glass, but that's, right. that sticks pretty good and slides down nice. And so I think that's just really distinctive of a quality, okay. of a quality whiskey. All right. Um, I'm, I'm not even gonna. Yeah. I, I can't smell very well, so I'm not even gonna do that. But <laughs> sure. the taste I can do. So I'll let you go first. So it's very smooth. Doesn't mm -hmm. burn a lot. Um, it's kind of fruity to me, which again, I think is really indicative of like a Highland kind of Scotch um similar to that similar to that so i feel i feel like if you've had scotch before if you have any experience with scotch whiskeys i would think highland here um but i'm getting some you know again from the same from the smell you know uh, herbal minty vanilla kind of qualities to it okay yeah. All right, i'm gonna let you're the expert on that i'm just gonna tell you if it tastes good or yeah. not like that so let me again it is smooth not a lot of burn um, you know, not a lot of that hard, you know, I'm used to more of a hard mm -hmm. kind of a whiskey and all that. That's, that's kind of, I don't want to say the word light, but it, no, it's, I think light's good. Yeah. yeah. I mean, it's, I would, it, it's that I would not put ice in this. Yeah, no, I agree yeah. with that. This a lot of people ice down their sippable. whiskey. Yeah. So to me, it's just like a very sippable, like you got done, uh, cussing out a motor or a battery or something after a hard day and you just need a nice glass to sip on. Not that you would know anything about that, Danny. No, not that. Absolutely. <laughs> This would pair well with a good cigar. Yeah, I think so. Um, Coming into the fall season, this would be a great fall sipping whiskey when you're around the around the campfire and stuff. If you want to be a little more bougie about your whiskey selection, right? Not a lot of aftertaste. It's, I mean, it's very smooth, yeah. very good. Goes down easy. Yeah. What's great about this whiskey is you know most Japanese whiskeys are fairly pricey. You know, uh, this right. one comes in around forty dollars a bottle, depending where you find it. So I think it's a great introduction to international whiskeys. Um, so I would definitely suggest you know our listeners check it out. What about yeah, you? No, I, I think that that is a, uh, that's a good recommendation. Again, yeah. it's not, it is something that I would tell 
a friend of mine, hey, you need to try this out like that. So yeah. So it gets the uh, FNG approval from me. Cool. Would you try it in the future? Absolutely. Awesome. Cool. Well, guys, that was our first foray into the A-list. If you have any suggestions for future non-fishing related products for us to check out and review, let us know in the comments. We look forward to your input. You know, maybe next time we'll get Josh McKay up here, the other owner of Fish North Georgia, and we can talk about some beers. All Absolutely. right. We look forward to it next time, guys.